Manjaro and Mint have always been in the top 5 Linux distros since forever, and they rightly deserve to be. They both are highly polished, dependable and provide a great computing experience. They both have a fan following that is in millions. But they both are very different from each other. One is a stability focused distro with a life cycle of 5 years and the other is a bleeding edge distro which pushes updates pretty much every day. So how do they compare against each other? Which among them is the best? Which among them is more suitable for you? Linux Mint or Manjaro? Let's find out. What's get up? This is Linux Dex. Jumping in, let's begin with the user interface. Manjaro offers all the desktop environments but XFCE has always been its main desktop. At the very first look, you can see that the XFCE desktop is customized extensively to suit the Manjaro branding. The functionality in XFCE desktop is boosted by features taken from other desktops here. Manjaro desktop promotes a distraction-free, productivity-oriented environment by cutting down all the glittery stuff. The desktop is minimal and very fast. By default, you'll find everything you need here with no unnecessary bloat. A number of amazing wallpapers are included by default. I'm really loving what's in here. All in all, it's XFC but it looks really good. Top points for Manjaro desktop. A Linux Mint on the other hand is famous for its homegrown Cinnamon desktop. Cinnamon is one of the most loved desktop environments and looking at it, it's quite clear why. Cinnamon desktop is highly intuitive, elegant and just so gorgeous to look at. The menu is organized and accessible. Unlike GNOME desktop, the menu does not cut the user's workflow. Controlling your computer is really easy. Linux Mint's interface is quite amazing. Cinnamon is also highly customizable with a wide range of themes and additional widgets called spices. The effects and animations are there but not so much that they distract you from your work. I really love working on the Cinnamon desktop. It has this homely feel to it. I give both the distros a point each as I like both the desktops and it's a rather subjective point. You might like one, I might like the other. You can choose whichever you like. Next, we'll be having a look at the stability of the two operating systems. Linux Mint is based on the long-term support version of Ubuntu, which means it is a stability-focused distro with the support of 5 years. Linux Mint has always been conservative as far as updates are concerned. The most stable packages are selected, tested and then pushed to the users. And except for security updates, they don't even ask you to update if everything is working fine. This provides a very stable and dependable computer system when you just want to install an OS and forget about it. Manjaro on the other hand is a bleeding edge Linux distro with updates being pushed on a daily basis. Manjaro is based on Arch Linux but the packages undergo much thorough testing. Manjaro in fact uses Arch Linux as testing grounds. This results in much more dependable updates. I remember an OpenSSL update breaking a number of Steam games on Arch, while Manjaro had that still in testing so Manjaro was left unaffected. As far as dependability is concerned, both Linux Mint and Manjaro are 100% rock solid even though their update models are drastically different from each other. But from a perspective of providing the users with a stable, unchanging work environment, Linux Mint wins a point. Now, at a glance, Mint and Manjaro desktop might look rather similar, but there's a huge difference in the underlying technologies used to build Manjaro's XFC and Mint's Cinnamon. XFC is a very lightweight desktop built with two main aims, to be extremely fast and low on system resources. Cinnamon, on the other hand, was derived from GNOME 3, which is not exactly known for being lightweight. Cinnamon looks much more polished to the eye, it's just so smooth, but XFC is visibly faster at launching applications and window controls. Side by side, you can notice a snappy performance on Manjaro's part when compared against Linux Mint. And so, the performance point goes to Manjaro. Although Manjaro is based on Arch Linux, it has its own software repositories. And these repositories contain a huge number of newer packages. You pretty much get the latest of all the Linux software. On top of this, you get the amazing Arch user repositories or the AUR. Now AUR is probably the biggest pool of Linux software. It is community maintained and has pretty much anything and everything you need. So Manjaro software availability is top notch. Moving to Linux Mint, Mint is based on Ubuntu and being based on Ubuntu means access to the huge Ubuntu software repositories and the PPAs. The Ubuntu software repositories are huge and contain a very large number of software. Pretty much anything you need can be installed directly through the Ubuntu repositories. And the software that are not available in the official Ubuntu repositories are brought to you through the use of PPAs. 
PPAs are maintained by the software developers or the maintainers themselves, which you can generally trust and install from. Almost all the developers support Ubuntu by providing either a PPA or a .deb installer, which can be installed on Linux Mint 2. So in the software availability department, both Mint and Manjaro score a point each. As I installed a couple of games on Manjaro, I noticed a consistent screen tearing on my screen while gaming, while everything was butter smooth on Linux Mint. Now I do know that this is an Nvidia card and XFCE issue and not a Manjaro specific issue, but I still was disappointed by that. And Steam officially supports only Ubuntu, so either Ubuntu or Ubuntu based distros like Linux Mint should be preferred for gaming on Linux as Steam games are tested and optimized for Ubuntu. The gaming point goes to Linux Mint. Manjaro is one of the biggest community driven projects. Community plays a very pivotal role in the development of Manjaro and Manjaro has a very detailed, organized and in-depth documentation. The forums are really active with beginner friendly solutions and guides being written by the volunteers. Advanced operations, troubleshooting, well help in general is offered enthusiastically in the Manjaro forums. Linux Mint has a very huge community and there are a number of forums and troubleshooting guides available for Mint. It should be noted that pretty much any guide written for Ubuntu will be applicable to Linux Mint to the dot. And Ubuntu has one of the best documentation and any issues you might face are easily solved by following the beginner friendly guides written on the Ask Ubuntu forums. The community is very friendly and the solutions are highly accessible and easy to follow. And even if you have a question that is not already answered, community members prove to be very helpful. The community is one of the biggest strengths of Ubuntu which directly translates over to Linux Mint. My respect and appreciation for the community members of both these distros for the amazing work they put in. Both the distros get a point each for community support. Both Mint and Manjaro have a very simple installation procedure which is rather beginner friendly. The installation can be done in around 15-20 minutes. Configuring your hardware and installing proprietary drivers for your Nvidia cards are really simple one-step procedures on both these distros. So both Manjaro and Mint get a point each for installation and hardware configuration. Personally speaking, both Mint and Manjaro are great Linux distros. They both have a loyal fan following and they totally deserve all the love they get. They are just that awesome. Manjaro is very polished and when you begin to use it, you can feel that a lot of work has gone into it. It provides a great computing experience. You enjoy it when you are working on Manjaro. Linux Mint 2 is pure genius. It's stable, low maintenance and a joy to sit in front of. It's really hard for me to pick a distro among these two because there isn't anything to complain about in these two distros. So going on my personal preference, my point goes to Linux Mint. This is because I prefer to use a stable distro for my development work as I cannot afford to have an update changing how my projects work. And by the total tally of points, Linux Mint is the winner for today. Now it's time for you to hit the subscribe button below if you like this video. I upload Linux stuff a lot so stay tuned. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and your comments are always welcome. Well that's it for today. This is Linux Tech signing out.